I'm on part two of the brakes now for my loco. In part one I did this square thread in this on this brake shaft and the square nut. Take a look back at them if you're interested. That's the tricky bit over with. And today I'm moving on to the brake standard. Uh, well it's basically these components here. There is a lot more to do on other page but we'll deal with these today. So I had a look around my stock of materials and I found this piece of tubing and it's slightly bigger on OD. Uh, now if you want to get pedantic about this and make it to the drawing you'll have to go out and buy the appropriate materials but I've got bits and bobs lying about that I can adapt and, and this tubing for example is only 1 16th bigger on the OD. So all I've got to do, because it, it's it's not interfering with anything else, is adjust my other sizes for the bosses to fit this tube in. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. Uh, so that's the tubing I've got then, and it's cut to length now, seven inch. I'm just going to go over to my for now and make these bosses, and this boss for the brake screw that fits on the top where the handle is, and then. I might as well just do this on this page while I'm doing it, the, the brake shaft crank. So I'll move over to lay. Thank you. 
I'm now ready for drilling the holes and these two components have got to have three equispaced, equispaced holes in. This one has got to have four holes in. And while I've got my rotary table in, I'm going to I'm going to drill them in my rotary table. Otherwise, you just you just have to mark them out individually. I'm back over on workbench now. I've got all these components finished now that, that uh, I'm doing in part two of the brakes. So this component here is this one. This one here is that one. And that will fit onto the top of that trapping this component. So that will sit in there once it's on the top of the brake screw. Let's do it, shall we? That's going to sit inside there, more or less flush. Then that one's going to sit on the top and trap it with 6BA screws in. Uh, then the brake rod is going to fit in the tube or the stand, the brake standard should I say and that's going to be silver soldered onto that and then the bottom piece will be silver soldered onto that tube there and then obviously the nut's got to go on And while I was on this this uh, page of drawings, I've done the the brake shaft crank. I've done it a slightly different shape to the one in the drawing, but it's gonna it's gonna operate just exactly the same. Right, I think that's it for part two. Then I'm going to continue in part three and do the other the components on the other page, and then that should finish the brakes off. Then, and then we'll have a look at fitting them onto loco. So, uh, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them, and uh, if not, I'll sign off for now then, and catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.